we said, listen, we're going to get married. We're going to pursue a traditional marriage. You're going to stay home. We're going to have kids. Um, and I'm going to be the sole income provider. Okay. We're both happy with that. We agree to those terms. She sacrificed what otherwise already was and could have been even more so a lucrative career in order to be my stay-at-home wife and take care of me and the house and the kids. If 10 years from now, I start beating her and divorce her, or, or sorry, I beat her up and I cheat on her and she would rightfully so divorce me in that scenario, would she not be morally uh, 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 deserving of some recompense? I think, I think she would be because she made quite a big sacrifice to be my, my wife and right. I'm the one that fucked it up. Yeah, so I mean, there are definitely scenarios where mm -hmm. alimony is, is justified. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I kind of understand the, the reason for alimony. For example, if, if she disregards pursuing a career in pursuit of having children, raising mm -hmm. a family, taking care of the household, I get it. I get it because, you know, and then to just dump her into the workforce with no resources, I, I get it. However, I guess I would say, though, for example, like, let's say that was the case. But let's say instead of you, the, the guy being abusive, let's mm. say she cheated on the husband. Mm -hmm. But she, all those same criteria are the same, and she, or she just got bored and she wants out of the marriage. Yeah. So the guy, didn't, the guy doesn't, didn't do anything to warrant the divorce. Exactly, yep. So, I, so, so in, in those scenarios, it's just... I, I agree with you. That's, that's a problem. I am, I would say, personally against no-fault divorce. I think we need to get rid of no fault divorce. Sure. And I would say che cheating or spousal abuse is fault for divorce. 